Welcome back to J-Stories, where ideas and technology from Japan help solve global social and environmental problems. I'm Toshi Maeda, and here's a quick look at this week's J-Stories. For children who are unable to go to school due to poor health, it's not easy to keep up with their education or their friendships. But new remote-controlled robots called Telerobo allow students to attend classes even from their hospital bed. First, they choose an avatar to appear on the robot screen. Then, they can control the robot using a tablet or other devices, allowing their robotic alter ego to talk with friends and teachers, travel around the school, or even go on school trips. The Taylor Robot Project's leader, Michihiro Hayashi, says that the purpose of school life is not just learning, but also to communicate with teachers and friends. And thanks to Taylor Robot, hospitalized children can do just that. What if pretty much anything could be used to generate power from sunlight? That's the dream of a Japanese startup that has developed the solar cell coating. The coating, which consists of four layers of ink and a final protective layer, is free from harmful chemicals and easy to dispose of or recycle. It is radically different to conventional solar panels, which tend to be heavy, expensive, and contain potentially dangerous substances such as lead. In principle, the new coating could be applied directly to almost anything, including film, glass, and fabrics. A downside is that its efficiency is much lower than current solar panels. But the researchers say their aim is not to replace advanced solar technology. Rather, they want to add to the solar landscape, producing simple, cheap, and safe power systems that can be used by anyone, anywhere. That's all for this week from JStories. Please visit our website at jstories.media for more details on these stories. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more solutions and inspiration from Japan.